Never bury your enemies alive. Hey, welcome back lads, so we are now just about a day away from the Season 2 Reloaded update here in Modern Warfare 3, so let's talk about all the new content and stuff that has been revealed and everything that we know so far. Well, one of the most important things is that there is finally going to be some new content for the actual Zombies mode for Modern Warfare Zombies in this Zombies themed season. There are also going to be some little bits and bobs for multiplayer and Warzone, but yeah, I think we should start off with the zombie stuff. So yeah, there is going to be a new Zombies story mission that will take us to the Dark Aoife, so that means it's not going to be easy, and they don't tell us exactly what the mission is all about, like what we're doing, but we see in this image that Ravanov is there, and I think he's like an NPC that's going to go around with us, not actually an operator that we can play as. The mission will most likely end with a new storyline cutscene as well, which is interesting because previously they said that it's going to be about Ravanov meeting the entity, the evil entity that controls the Dark Aoife, which is all but confirmed to be Samantha Maxis at this point, so that would be a reunion between Ravanov and Maxis that knew each other from the Cold War era. In Black Ops Cold War, they were acquaintances, you know? So yeah, that's going to be interesting, and since they know each other, that will probably give us a confirmation that it is 100% Samantha Maxis, and that also, you know, plays into the storyline of the next Black Ops game, so it's very interesting stuff. And after completing the mission, there will also be access to a new Dark Heath Rift experience, so it's like another fourth zone, you know, fourth area of difficulty in Modern Warfare Zombies, and it's a Dark Aoife version of Side City from Modern Warfare 2 Al Masra. In that rift, you can earn the new schematics, like the schematics to spawn in the Bloodburner bike and the VR-11 Wonder Weapon. Right, so now moving on, as for multiplayer, we have some remastered and remade maps like Das House, returning from Call of Duty Vanguard, but it now takes place on this rooftop construction site, and yeah, I think this is you know, kind of nice, because uh, the map is kind of good, you know, like I said last time, it's like a smaller version of Shoot House, but it's the same kind of idea, same style of map, where it's a very kind of close quarters rectangle. And we also have the apocalyptic versions of Terminal and Skid Row. The overgrown Skid Row looks kind of nice, it's still like vibrant and stuff. Terminal, not so much, it looks kind of, I don't know, dim and like mossy. <laughs> I don't know. I still hope, even if it's just a little bit of hope, that at some point we'll be able to actually play zombies on these zombies themed multiplayer maps. Now the classified section of the battle pass will give us the new Surrender Sword DLC weapon, which is cool, you know, we, we don't often see swords in a modern themed game, and there is also the SOA Subverter Battle Rifle, which is unlocked by completing the weekly challenges. So yeah, you know, kind of general stuff that you'd expect to see in a mid-season or season reloaded update and as for warzone at the start of the season right we got um the return of fortunes keep and now they are adding a boat to it um very very epic a boat and that is about it that is the important stuff from this season 2 reloaded update so yeah stay spicy and i'll see you in the next one cheers